In this video I will review three hot springs in Lake Tahoe area. Treventine hot springs are located uh, to the south of Lake Tahoe and it will take about two and a half hours to get there. Highway 395 is a scenic drive and as you will be descending from Lake Tahoe, Sierra Nevada mountains, you will see the change as uh, trees will turn into like a desert style landscape. Hot springs are located a couple of miles off the main road and uh, you can just drive up directly to the hot springs. It is the best hot springs in the area because first of all you can come close to the hot springs, you can park right next to it, even you can come at night and uh, show your headlights so that to light up the area. Uh, also it has a pretty gorgeous view. You know they control the temperature of the pools, people control the stream so they put some stones in order to direct, redirect the water. Water temperature is quite hot, so if you take your hand in, so you can hold it there. A lot of people who come in there, so they take some water home. Yellow crystallized substance on the sides, that is uh, sulfur. This is truly the most natural hot spring that I've been to, in addition to this gorgeous view. This classification is from prolonged streaming of water from underground. There is a good chance here that you will be by yourself over there if you come during the midweek. However, usually on the weekends, guaranteed somebody comes. This place looks like county maintained and there is some parking and there is a bathroom. The place itself looks clean. There's no trash around. I'm not sure if there is people just so self-conscious or there is some county workers coming over to clean the area. On top of all these benefits, the entrance is free. You can come at any time. I think the distance from major populated areas made this hot spring just the way we have it right now, so exotic. On the way I saw a post office building, which is not in very good condition. I get used to see government buildings being well taken care of. Next I will show you hot springs in Carson City. Actually it is not hot spring itself. It is just a complex which uses water directed from the mountain just to its property. There are some rooms you can rent to stay overnight and uh, there is a restaurant you can have a meal together. Uh, entrance will be $10 if you come just by yourself. However, you can save if you come with a group uh, with 10 people or more. Yes, then it will going to be $5 per person and seniors will get a discount of $6, so it's going to be $4 in transfer. There is one big pool with warm water, and there is no cold water pool. There are only two more jacuzzis with a more hot water. Just right in this aviated area there are some tables you can have lunch, and in the evening when it's getting cold, they fire up some fireplace. Nice thing about this hot springs that they change water every day. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. I usually they come because uh, I like to go to the private uh, jacuzzi with my partner. And uh, I enjoy it for uh, these three hours, two hours. And uh, after I get I, from there, I come to the swimming pool. Super. I enjoy it a lot, a lot yeah. This extra private hot pools that the Mexican person was talking about, they cost $5 extra for about 2-3 hours. If you get bored, Wi-Fi available here for free. No. 
last hot spring I'll talk about is a Grover hot spring located uh, to the south of Lake Tahoe and it will take about an hour to drive. It is administered by National Park Administration and the entrance will be $7 per person. There is no half day, there is no evening fee, it's all the same price no matter what time of the day you will come. They also change water here every day. In the evening they start draining it and overnight it comes with a fresh water. This yellow brown color of the pool is not very attractive. However, it's natural color from the water. Unfortunately, they don't allow food in a pool area. You have to walk out in order to have some food. But the view here is not bad too. You can sit, relax in the pool and observe this mountain in front of you. I hope you like this video. If you have some comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment area. I'll be happy to see them and respond to them.